Hello guys, today I'm going to demonstrate Oxgard MS300 CAN OBD tool. This is, uh, the, as, as, you, as you see that the manufacturer of this tool is the Oxgard and the model is MS300. For, so first thing first, what is OBD? OBD is onboard diagnostic. Why we need this tool? This tool is required to identify the problem with your vehicle when the check engine light appears on the dashboard. So more, you'll see this type of light um, on the vehicle dashboard, and that means that you have you have some issue with uh, the uh, engine or within the vehicle somewhere. But it is very difficult to identify where exactly the issue is, and to identify that or pinpoint a particular area where the issue is, you need this OBD tool. Just to give you the background, since 1996, all cars comes with the OBD2, uh, which means onboarding diagnostic. And OBD system gives the vehicle owner or the repair technician access to the status of the various vehicle subsystems. Earlier version of the OBD would uh, simply eliminate a malfunction indicator light, that is uh, either the check engine light or something, it is also popularly known as the idiot light if that problem was detected uh, but the newer version or the modern OBT implementation uses a standardized digital communication port to provide real-time data in addition to a standardized series of diagnostic trouble codes and these trouble codes are popularly known as DTC and uh, DTC stand for diagnostic trouble codes so it's very simple if you get this light that is the check engine service light Either you go to the technician and ask him to scan your uh, vehicle for the trouble or you scan your vehicle yourself. This tool is very portable, it's handle, handled and it is not bulky. It comes with this uh, wire. So basically you have to plug in this uh, wire to the port of your car and once plugged in you have to um, start the ignition of your vehicle and then press this enter button to scan or to perform the scanning once scan it will show the different dtc code if you have multiple problems if you have only one problem with your vehicle then it will show only one code that is the dtc code and then you have to just um, uh, do the internet search uh, for that DTC code with your make and model of the car to pinpoint or figure it out where exactly the issue is. In fact, this particular uh, OBT tool from this Oxgard manufacturer comes with uh, this uh, user manual which is pretty straightforward but at the end there is a list of all generic DTC definition codes is there. So for example if uh, you get some uh, and on the display it's P0001 right it means that fuel volume regulator control circuit open and then you can just fix that one something like that right so it's pretty straightforward I, I'll demonstrate that to you how exactly it works and uh, during the demonstration I will go over the functioning of uh, this particular model there are different models this one is the basic model and as I mentioned earlier this is very portable and very handheld very simple model so only two buttons enter to scan the um, DTC codes uh, to scan the vehicle and then sc scroll through the different menus to identify where the issue is so uh, without wasting time let's go to the vehicle I have uh, Beetle 2014 a Volkswagen uh, car and uh, for some reason uh, from last few days I started getting this uh, check engine uh, light so this is a good time to use this tool and identify what the problem is so I'm inside my vehicle and as you see on the dashboard there is a check engine light is appearing and I would like to see that why this check engine light is and what is the DTC code behind this uh, check engine so I'm going to hook up this uh, OBT scan tool to the uh, vehicle usually 
the port where we have to connect this OBT tool is you will find underneath the dashboard on the driver side and this is basically the uh, port which we have to uh, which we are going to use to connect the OBT scan tool so let me connect the OBT scan tool to this port and uh, make sure that your vehicle is not running when uh, you are uh, when you are connecting this port the vehicle should be in the switch off position and once you connected the port it will lit automatically take the power from the battery and just you have to uh, start your vehicle in the ignition it means basically you have to just give the ignition not to start the vehicle so let me do that and show you that after connecting the obt tool how how it looks so I've connected the OBD, OBD tool to the uh, vehicle and as you see that uh, uh, it is showing CAN OBD2 uh, basically over here. So I'm just going to uh, put the vehicle in the ignition mode. So as soon as it is in the ignition mode this menu will change. And now I have to press the enter and now it is scanning and it is reading and everything is done so now uh, the menu shows that menu one is basically the DTC uh, that is the diagnostic trouble code let me first go over all the menus and then uh, we'll go into the individual menu so first menu is the DTC second menu is if there are codes you can erase those codes third one is the IM that is uh, a readiness status uh, then um, inside the uh, the fourth menu is the win number to detect the win number and uh, menu 5 is the rescan so I'll go to the first one that is the menu 1 and press enter and I see that there is no code for some reason that means uh, uh, I don't know why uh, the light is appearing so that is a uh, strange thing let's go to the second menu uh, sorry third menu and press enter and MIL is off. MIL is off means the malfunction indicator light is also called as uh, check engine light. It is off. Uh, then next one is misfire which is uh, not applicable in this case. Fuel is NA which is not, mm, not a problem. CCM ready. It is CCM is comprehensive components monitor. The next one is CAT which is again NA. Uh, CAT, is, CAT stands for Catalyst Converter uh, which is in good condition HCM again it is not applicable Heated Catalyst Monitor Next one is EVAP that is Evaporator no issues with the evaporator also Next one is 2 Air that is Secondary Monitor uh, no issues with that one Next one is Air Conditioning no issues with that one O2S Oxygen Sensor no issues with that one H2O5 which is called as the uh, O2 sensor heater which is in good condition EGR which is exhaust gas recirculation no issues with that one and the last one is MIL that is malfunction indicator light uh, as I mentioned earlier it is the check engine light uh, which is currently off so I have to see now uh, why that uh, light is appearing but uh, this is how the uh, tool can be used basically and uh, it's pretty simple straightforward tool uh, one should have it uh, in the vehicle uh, on the way uh, to check that uh, why the light is appearing thanks for watching the video uh, please subscribe to my channel us diy see the check engine light is gone so basically now everything looks okay uh, the problem is like there was no uh, issue with the engine at all it was just the malfunction light was on so everything looks okay but this tool really helped me identifying if there is any issue at all or not